สวัสดีครับ I'm JP m i s t a n t a and it's Wednesday September 11th Never forget you're watching Phuket Extra brought to you by PBC Phuket dot com A 37 year old Thai man who fled Koh Yao Yai over a home invasion and threats to use military style weapons was quickly arrested in Phuket after arriving at the Bangrong Pier in Paklok. 37 year old Tanong Sak Janar was taken into custody on Monday shortly after arriving at the Bangrong Pier and was taken in under an arrest warrant issued by the p a n y a Provincial Court in early August. Authorities had been tracking the man's movements and finally located him near a restaurant at the Bangrong Pier, reportedly attempting to evade arrest by hiding in a nearby mangrove forest in Paklok. According to the police report, the arrest warrant was issued on charges including attempted physical harm, armed home invasion, and illegal possession of firearms. d a n o n g Sak was allegedly among a group of men who had reportedly been planning an attack against a rival party in the area in Koh Yao Yai. After his arrest, he was then escorted to Koh Yao Police Station for further legal proceedings. The investigation is ongoing. For more, visit the Phuket News dot com. To boost maritime connections across three provinces in the Andaman coast, the Transport Ministry is ordering the Marine Department to hurry up and expedite their scheduled projects. The project, slated to cost 740 million baht in total, is key to the new prime minister and transport minister's plans to improve the region's logistics infrastructure and tourism. The plan is to construct two new piers: one in Phuket, called the Aupol Ferry Pier at Aupol Marina in the north of the island, and another at Krabi, called the Talen Pier. The plan also calls for renovations to be done at both Mano Pier in Koh Yao Noi. And Chong Lar Pier on Koh Yao Yai, both in the middle of Phuket and Krabi, and separated by a narrow strip of sea. Both Koh Yao Noi and Koh Yao Yai pertain to p e n g y a n Province. This would cut down the travel time between Phuket and Krabi to 90 minutes by boat at just 97 kilometers, compared to the nearly three-hour trip it takes to drive to Krabi by land, a 145-kilometer trip. Officials are calling it the Andaman Triangle and say that the ferry route would contribute to local income in those immediate areas. Improvements of the piers on Koh Yao Islands would include new terminals for cargo and passenger ships, separate docking area for speedboats and longtails, and a parking lot for cars, along with a tourist center. This would cost about 335 million baht for both, and the Marine Department is now looking for contractors with the aim to begin construction of the two piers in p e n g y a n s Koh Yao District by the end of this year. The funding of the two other projects, the 280 million baht a u p o l Pier in Phuket and the 100 million baht Dalen Pier in Krabi, would be included in next year's budget, according to officials, who added that the piers are expected to be completed in 2027. The improvements at the a u p o l Ferry Pier in Phuket would include an adjustable bridge to accommodate ferries, a petrol pier, passenger terminal, and parking for 60 vehicles. Once done, this pier in Phuket. Would be able to handle one ferry with a capacity of 60 cars and 200 passengers, a ship up to 500 gross tons, and would serve 573 passengers and over 1,200 cars per day. For more, visit the PhuketNews.com. Warnings of heavy rain are being made for 48 provinces nationwide, including Phuket, as residents are being called to be cautious of possible flash floods from Friday until September 18, next Wednesday. The effects of heavy rain has already prompted flash floods in parts of northern Thailand, including Chiang Rai Province, this morning. The Thai Meteorological Department states that the influence of former Typhoon Yagi. Has already claimed the lives of four people in northern Thailand, two of which lost their lives in a landslide in Chiang Mai Province, and the other two in Chiang Rai. Here in Phuket and the rest of the Andaman coastal provinces, including p a n y a and Krabi, we are being warned to brace for heavy rain by the end of this week. The anticipated precipitation could continue until next Tuesday, perhaps next Wednesday, according to officials, with the risk of flash floods. Flood-prone communities are being warned. To brace for runoff and sudden flooding during this period. For more, visit the Phuket News dot com. 
eight defendants who are being charged over the mishandling of the 2012 fatal hit and run case involving Red Bull Air Boss Uvidia, in which he was charged with the death of a Bangkok police officer, they appeared before the criminal court on Tuesday in Bangkok, and all eight entered a plea of not guilty. The eight defendants include former National Police Chief, Police General Somyot Pumpungwang, and former Deputy Attorney General Nate Naksuk, who all have been indicted on several charges, including dereliction of duty. Reports say that the main issue here is the change in the recorded speed of the Ferrari that was driven by boss Red Bull on the night that he ran over a Tonglo police officer named Wichiang Klamprasad and left him to die on the road. This mishandling led to the dismissal of boss Red Bull's arraignment for reckless driving leading to a fatality. On Tuesday, the criminal court stated that because of the high level of public interest in this case, they will be expediting it and set the trial period for seven months instead of the usual one year. The prosecutor's evidence submitted to the court included 30,000 pages of documents, 21 individual witnesses, and material witnesses. The evidence examination is scheduled to begin on December 3rd. All eight were granted bail but are prohibited from leaving the country. The whole thing centers around the hit-and-run death of police senior sergeant major Wichian Klamprasad, who in the early hours of September 3, 2012, was crashed into by a Ferrari driven by Vorayut Uvidia, known as Boss Red Bull, and the cop's body was dragged for about 200 meters on the Bangkok road. Boss Red Bull fled the scene and did not inform authorities, and his bodyguard had initially attempted to take the fall by falsely admitting that he was behind the wheel, before Boss Red Bull was later proven to be the driver. Since then, Boss had been handed several charges, but as he repeatedly failed to appear in court in the years ensuing and then later fled the country altogether in 2017, the statute of limitations for each charge expired and some of them were even dropped. Boss Red Bull has never spent one night in jail for running over and killing a police officer and then fleeing the scene. The last remaining charge against Boss Red Bull, causing death by reckless driving, carries a penalty of up to 10 years in jail and expires in 2027. For more, Visit thepuketnews.com. Thank you so much for catching us here today on Phuket Extra, brought to you by pvcphuket.com. We'll see you again tomorrow. Until then, stay classy, Phuket. Phuket's rapid modernization has made it one of the world's premier holiday destinations. Investors can still buy quality condominiums for as low as $75,000 and luxury properties can go all the way up to $20 million. Condominiums in Phuket are a safe, secure, bricks-and-mortar investment offering foreigners freehold ownership. Call or email Thai Residential, Phuket's number one trusted real estate advisor, to find your perfect Phuket property.